All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakwadash. Double honor to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days, great millstone, also known as GMS. And salutation to the most high's men in the four corners of the earth, pushing his word of sincerity and truth. And Shalom to the few sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's your brother, Banyam Yan, GMS Mississippi. And I want to say to Wada Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, for placing the spirit upon me. To be able to do this video and lord willing that it's edifying so we're gonna jump right in, right into esau edom the edomites because nobody wants to be an edomite nobody takes on ownership of being from that nation or being that race of people so to speak but everyone defends their destiny everyone defends their cursing so what's the irony of that if you don't place that title upon you but yet you go to bat for that particular group of people now we're going to start here in the book of Psalm, chapter 10, and this is uh, verse 7. It says, His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, in the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. And who are the poor? The twelve tribes of Israel, known as the lost sheep, also known in today's time as the minorities. You know, where the undesired throughout the entire planet Earth and it routes back into the blessing of Jacob and Esau, because it doesn't matter how the world tries to manipulate those two scenarios. They're two key players in this in this thing we call life. And that's why day in and day out, you see that 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 contention and strife in between whom the 12 tribes of Israel and Esau, Edom's dukes, so to speak, or his progenitors. This is verse 9. It says, He lied in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lied in wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. He croucheth and humbleth himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. You know, and every law that's set forth, every organization that's set forth, all these particular things are set forth for, for the demise of the Heavenly Father's people. And Esau can't get around that. Now we're going to jump to because because you can read entirely the, the entire book of Job. I mean, not Job, but uh, Ob Obadiah Salakia. But I'm going to read here and jump in Job 18, verse 11. It says, Terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. His strength shall be hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his side. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. Obadiah verse 10. For thy violence against our brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee and thou shalt be cut off forever. And there's no getting around that. You know, just a quick hit through the spirit. It was on my spirit to, to kind of go into it because it, 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 it hit my head. I was like, Nobody wants to be Esau Edom, but everybody defends his destiny. Everybody defends his judgment. But the Heavenly Father has that proclamation set forth for the, uh, uh, the so-called Caucasians, which are the biblical Edomites. And that judgment is utter destruction. Point blank, period. Until next time, I say Shalom.